parents. Part of growing up is learning to do new things. For a young child, learning by doing is a wonderful way to grasp new skills and ideas. Children also learn from what they see. Mommy, I Can Learn Myself videos were specifically created for this purpose. Our video series contains four programs, each addressing one of four important topics, manners, feelings, safety, and new experiences. We know your children will enjoy watching and learning from these programs. We encourage parents to view these programs with the children so as to answer any questions they may have. We also welcome any comments you may have.
give you. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, look, Rusty. He's showing off. Showing off this in a good manner. Yes, you're right, Billy. It's okay to be proud of yourself, kids, but not too proud. It's never polite to think you're better than somebody else. Nobody's better than anybody else. Everybody is equally special. That's right, Billy. People who think they're better than other people are just kidding themselves. They probably don't even have good table manners. Look, Roy and Elise and their family are having a formal dinner in the dining room. Boy, I hope they use their best manners. Table manners are some of the most important manners anywhere. There are a lot of table manners you have to learn. First of all, you should not start eating until everyone has sat down, unless a grown-up tells you it's okay to start eating. When you want something that's out of your reach, like the salt, well, don't stand up and reach over for it. You might knock something down. Just politely say, please pass the salt. And when the salt is passed to you, be sure to say thank you. And then after they pass you the salt, say, you're welcome. When food is passed around, like mashed potatoes or other vegetables, don't take too much. Take just what you can eat. After you finish, if you're still hungry, then you can ask for some more. But be sure to say please. You should always chew slowly and with your mouth closed. Never chop on food or put too much in your mouth. And always carefully cut food first so that you can take small bites. You know, sometimes a grown-up can help you with the knife. What would you do if there's something for dinner that you don't like, Billy? Eat it anyway. You really don't have to do it if you don't like it. But be polite. If you don't like peas, it's best to say, I really don't care for peas, but I'll have some more carrots, please. That's being tactful. Uh-oh. What does tactful mean? Tactful means you can handle different situations with good manners. There are a lot of rules for good table manners. Now, how can anybody remember them all? It's easy to remember the rules when you practice them all the time. Most table manners are based on common sense. Like washing your hands before dinner. That's right, Billy. You should never go to the table with dirty hands. Does that mean that you can eat your mashed potatoes with your hands if they're clean? No, silly. But there are some foods you can eat with your hands, like pizza or the bread. But you should always use a fork, a knife, or a spoon to eat. And if some food slips off the fork, don't use your fingers to put it on the plate. Use a fork and a knife to put it on the side of the plate. Right, Oopsie? Right, Billy. And if you should accidentally spill something, like a glass of milk or juice, the first thing you should do is try to prevent it from making a big mess. Use your napkin to soak it up and apologize sincerely. Like say, I'm terribly sorry. I'll clean it up. Yes. And after the meal is over, always be sure to say thank you and compliment the person who did the cooking on how good the meal was. And don't leave the table without saying, may I please be excused? And it is very polite to ask if you may help clear off the table and help wash the dishes. Yeah, that shows that you appreciate the meal. And it shows you have good manners, too. Good manners are especially important when your family has company like relatives and friends visiting your family or when you go out to a restaurant. Oh, look, there's my friend Scott and his family. Scott's sister, Karen, is my friend. And today is a special day for them. Their grandmother is coming to visit, and their mommy told them to show good manners. Scott likes when his grandmother visits because she always brings them a gift. But... They would like having their grandmother visit even if she didn't bring them a gift, Billy. They just like having her visit. That's why they're polite and happy to see her when she comes. They don't say, hi, Granny, where's my gift? They say, hi, Granny, I'm so glad you're here. First, they help bring in Granny's bags while she says hello to Mommy and Daddy. Even though the bags are heavy, they offer to carry them. If Granny can carry a heavy bag, so can Scott. So can Karen, even if she is a girl. Or only if it's not too heavy. If it is, then Daddy will help. 
When the whole family sits around and talks, both Scott and Karen wait their turn to talk. They don't interrupt while someone else is speaking. Uh, what about the gift? Billy, that's not very polite. Oh, there's the gift. And, you know, I hope Scott and Karen say thank you for their presents. It's always extra nice to send a thank you note also. I'm sure they will, Billy. They have good manners. I wonder if they have good manners in the classroom, too. You should especially show good manners when you're meeting someone for the very first time. Like a new teacher on the very first day of school. Right, Billy. The new teacher will come in the classroom and introduce herself. Or himself. He or she will say, hello, class. I'm your new teacher, Miss Smith. And everyone in the class should say, good morning, Miss Smith. How are you today? The new teacher would be impressed that her class would have such good manners. And then she won't have to teach them anything uh, about good manners, that is. No, that's not true, Billy. Everyone can always learn new good manners. Things like saying, hi, how are you today? Saying, thank you, and you're welcome. And eating with your knife and fork properly. And being polite are just basic good manners. There are so many good manners, it would take too long to list them all. Kids with good manners are always very courteous. Like when you meet someone for the first time. Always shake hands and say, hi, it's nice to meet you. And look them in the eye. That's called eye contact. Don't be shy. Look at people face to face. This shows them that you are really interested in meeting them and have good manners. Hey, Oopsie, I have another example of good manners. Being on time. Yes, or doing someone a favor. Or saying I'm sorry to somebody that you got angry with. The easiest way to develop good manners is just to be nice to everyone all the time. Be polite and be kind. And then the grown-ups will say, my, what good manners you have. God bless you, Billy. Thank you, Oopsie. You're welcome, Billy. Having good manners can really be fun. That's right. Better than that, having good manners gives you a good feeling about yourself. I like myself better by having good manners. My friends like me better, too. Me, too. I like having good manners. Everyone should have good manners. And if you paid real good attention to our show... You'd learn all about good manners, all by yourself. Okay, Oopsie, let's play school now, and, and we'll see how much you learn. Yeah, let's pretend we're in the classroom at school to give you a test on good manners. All right, it's okay if your mommy and daddy help you answer the questions, but you should try to answer them all by yourself. When you're at the dinner table and you want the salt or pepper, what should you do? Hmm. A, do you wait until someone's sitting next to you asks for it, and then you can use the salt after they do? Or B, reach across the table for the salt, or get up and walk around the table to get the salt. Or C, say, please pass me the salt. The answer is C. Say, please pass me the salt. Or you can say, May I please have the salt? And when someone passes it to you, remember to say, Billy. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I have one now. What is the main reason that everyone should have good manners? Everyone should have good manners because, A, that way you can get whatever you want. Or, B, it gives you a good feeling about yourself. Or, See, if you don't have good manners, you'll get into trouble. I know, it's B. When you have good manners, you get a good feeling about yourself. Right. When you're nice to people, they'll be nice to you, too. Okay, next question. What are some of the nicest words in the English language, Billy? Hmm, let's see. Well, there's please, and thank you, and you're welcome. They were all nice words. Right. Some words that aren't so nice are, give me, shut up, and go away. Those are mean words. A person with good manners doesn't use mean words, only nice words. And when it's time to leave, say, goodbye, see you later, have a nice day. And that's what we have to say now, because all our time is up. But we will be back soon to talk about other things.
games you can learn all by yourself. Things like new experiences, feelings, and safety. See, we can really learn that all by ourselves. All from us on video cassettes. Mommy, I can learn myself kids' videos. Collect the entire series of all four. Mommy, I can learn myself kids' videos. Manners, safety, feelings, and new experiences. Look for cards and stationary items just for children called Mommy, I Can Do It Myself from Cards for Kids. Welcome to the unique and educational world of creative learning products. Mrs. Michelle Walker from Des Moines, Iowa. Creative learning products are wonderful. They instill good manners while keeping my children entertained and learning. Robin Tompkins from Hartford, Connecticut. These products are so original. My children enjoy them without even realizing how much they are learning in the process. Creative Learning Products is dedicated to designing quality, educational, and entertaining children's products that foster positive development. Our constantly expanding collection includes paper activity products, workbooks, early learning videos, greeting cards, and stationery. Creative learning products, a fun way to learn. Parents, grandparents, teachers, and educators recognize and value the positive aspects that creative learning products foster. Parents are taking an active role in their children's development and look for quality products that have long-lasting play and educational value. Creative learning products support the needs of children while providing an opportunity for parents to become involved and enjoy the experience of seeing their children learn and create. Paper activity products. The Little Author series of workbooks allow a young child to create and illustrate his or her own story. Ample room is provided for drawings and pictures. Creative learning products has provided the structure and the child's imagination does the rest. Through a variety of games and puzzles, children can reinforce their knowledge of letters, shapes, numbers, and colors with the Fun Way to Learn series of workbooks. The paper placemats and activity pads are wonderful educational tools that keep children occupied, entertained, and learning. The placemats teach children about proper place settings and etiquette while the activity pads feature fun facts, games, and puzzles about some of children's favorite topics. Additional paper activity products include travel fun pads, activity calendars, dress-up costumes, and telephone message pads. Early learning videos. The Mommy I Can Learn Myself series feature children talking to children. Narrated by brother and sister team Oopsie and Billy, the children learn valuable lessons about feelings, manners, safety, and new experiences in a language they can really understand. For the toddler age group, an assortment of original and traditional songs, nursery rhymes, and stories make up a toddler treasury. Children watch the colorful graphics on the screen and sing along with the characters. Everywhere a moo moo, chick chick here and a chick chick there. Here a chick, there a chick, everywhere a chick chick. For the young preteen, a music video called Let's Sing and Dance has been developed to communicate positive messages about drug abuse, friendship, talking to strangers, and other timely subjects through upbeat songs and live action. My children love the early learning videos. They sit and watch them over and over and have memorized all the words to the songs. Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy, along with their friends, encourage children to think and learn. These well-known and lovable characters adorn a whole collection of activity products that feature learning activity pads, calendars, and greeting cards. The Mommy I Can Do It Myself series of greeting cards include thank you notes, get well cards, Christmas cards, birth and moving announcements, and photo cards. 
The cards are designed with extra wide lines to aid in guiding a youngster's beginning penmanship and are bordered with the alphabet and colorful drawings. The Mommy I Can Do It Myself stationery encourages children to develop their writing skills by sending letters to friends, relatives, and even Santa. A blank page often intimidates a young child, so the stationery incorporates wide ruled lines and colorful graphics. Oopsie and Billy also appear as friendly reinforcements. Dear Mrs. Hughes, thank you for a fun school year. I will miss you. Hope you have a great summer, Andrea.